What's up everyone, it's TimeRatatarTube and welcome back to another Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire coverage video. The Pokemon company has finally revealed this month's Pokemon trailer featuring things we've seen in the last Korokoro Koro a few days ago and more. The trailer starts off showcasing Primal Kyogre and Primal Groudon, but this time they're revealing the dialogue to show what's going on. Two points of significance here is the text saying Groudon's Primal Reversion and Kyogre referred to its Primal form. It just gives you that chill of excitement. And the other significance is the Omega and Alpha symbols you may have seen, which make it look like a more personalized transformation instead of just having a typical icon like the Mega Icon. But anyways, after undergoing Primal Reversion, Groudon's ability reverts to Desolate Land and Kyogre's ability reverts to Primordial Sea. Desolate meaning a place in a state of bleak emptiness like the End which represents Omega and Primordial is something that existed at the very beginning of time which represents Alpha. These two abilities are extreme versions of Drought and Drizzle that summon one of two new weather conditions known as Extremely Harsh Sunlight and Heavy Rain. These these two new weather conditions are essentially stronger versions of the sunlight and rain that we know. During this harsh sun, water attacks will be completely reduced to do no damage at all, and during the heavy rain, fire attacks will completely evaporate to deal no damage as well. So this means that that 4 times weakness that everyone's been pouting about is nothing. In addition, being extreme versions, other normal weather conditions like hail and sandstorm cannot overtake it. The extreme weather will last as long as Primal Kyogre and Crowdon are active, and will disappear the second they switch out or faint like that's ever gonna happen. But from the way it's described, everything else about these extreme conditions are the same as their normal counterparts, including the boost of fire and water attacks, activating weather-based abilities like chlorophyll, and affecting moves like weather ball and thunder. I personally feel like Groudon got the better end of the stick considering its main weakness is now nullified, while for Kyogre, a typing it resisted is nullified. But I mean, it's time Groudon got the respect it deserves, and had to fight Kyogre with the small piece of land in the original games, while Kyogre got the whole C. But all jokes aside, even though Groudon Groudon does have the upper hand, both of them are going to be crazy powerful Pokemon, and Kyogre can still evenly take on Groudon. Moving on, their new signature moves have been revealed, Groudon's being Precipice Blades and Kyogre's being Origin Pulse. Both of these attacks can hit multiple opponents, which is just crazy. The two of them would wreck in a double or triple battle. Just imagine a multi-battle with both of them on the same side. Nothing else is known about these attacks, and we still don't know whether these are primal exclusive moves. But for some reason, I'm starting to feel like they won't be. But to me, these moves look like they have crazy power but imperfect accuracy, but that's just me. Moving on, they officially reveal Mega Sharpedo, Mega Camerupt, and Mega Gallade. Mega Camerupt is a fire and ground type with the ability Shear Force, and it can be seen using Eruption on a Sceptile, which looks amazing since it perfectly aligns with the Volcano on its back. It gains a boost to every stat at the cost of a little speed, which wasn't really something Camerupt was big on, so that's no problem. The only problem with Mega Camerupt is that it has to be really careful of water attacks, which it cannot take well, and unlike Primal Groudon, it doesn't have a way around it. But on the offense, a Shear Force boosted Fire Blast is going to do a ton of damage even if it's resisted. Mega Sharpedo is a Water Dark type with the ability Strong Jaw, and it can be seen using that powerful Strong Jaw boosted crunch attack on a Dusk Noir. It also gains a boost to every stat, including speed, to improve it overall. Like I said in my last video, Sharpedo itself is already a huge threat after one speed boost, so if you can get off one speed boost before Mega Evolving, it's going to be a major threat, and it's going to take the bulkiest of Pokemon to take it down. And finally, Mega Gallade is a Psychic Fighting type with the ability Inner Focus and it can be seen using close combat on a Shiftry. And I gotta say this, Mega Gallade looks amazing. It's gotta be that cape. It actually looks like a male version of Mega Gardevoir. I'm actually really happy about how it looks, but on the other end, I honestly can't see why Game Freak gave it inner focus as its ability. Being the physical counterpart of Mega Gardevoir, it has to be able to reach the same level, and inner focus does not match up with Pixelate at all. But let's not doubt Game Freak. They know what they're doing. Nah, nah, they don't. And finally, they reveal Rayquaza for the first time in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire showcasing it using Outrage, Hyper Voice, and Drago Meteor. It's really just the special tease for what's to come, and they only revealed all that information on Primal Kyogre and Groudon to shift our attention away from Rayquaza. I mean, come on, it's almost obvious that there will be a Primal Rayquaza. The only question is whether they're gonna reveal it before the game comes out or hide it for us to find out on our own. If you guys haven't done so yet, be sure to check out the Primal Kyogre and Primal Groudon tees. They'll only be up for the next few days, so be sure to grab one before the campaign's up. We are under 50 away from reaching our entire goal. You can click on either shirt to go to its page. But anyways guys, that's it for this coverage video. Be sure to drop a like if you're hyped about Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, and let me know your thoughts on these new Primal abilities, and what you think Primal Rayquaza could be like, especially what ability it could have to counter Primal Kyogre and Primal Groudon. There's gonna be a new breakdown and analysis video tomorrow so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out.
I mean, come on, it's almost obvious that there will be a primal Rayquaza. The only question is whether they're going to reveal it before. <laughs> Busted, Ryan.